So now we are on After Effects. I've already imported the items. Uh, so I'm going to do is to, to do the composition. I think 30 seconds will be good. Remember, you don't also want to make it too long. Now the naming part. Uh, if you find the red arrow, it means that your caps lock is activated. We need to deactivate it so that uh, you can um, see what's happening. So I'm going. To, I've just imported the same elements that I imported before. For After Effects, if uh, if the length of your project is 30 seconds, whatever you import in, if it's static, it's going to be the length of uh, your project. Now I'm going to draw uh, the rectangle. Uh, I'm going to use a black color on it. A black color is good because uh, whenever you see it, you know that's where uh, the video is supposed to go to. Then I'm going to position it. is S. Uh -huh. So I position it. I think that works well. So if I select an item and I press P, I'm going to have the items to adjust the position. If I press S, I'm going to have the items to adjust uh, the scale. This comes after you've used the software for a considerable period of time. Now I will import my QR code. the QR code area yeah this I'm just using the mouse and uh, some keyboard shortcuts I come to the rectangle area and I'm going to draw over it then I'll just take it back that way then also draw another one Take it back. So let me collapse everything so that it looks a bit decent and easy to work on. Text, scan me. Now uh, change color from blue uh, to white. Going to position it and play around with the scale. Let me work with that rectangle. I think that one works well. So let me see how the whole project looks like. Okay, the scan me is a bit big, the QR code, so I need to reduce the sizes. So as you can see when I'm reducing the size it's moving it's because the anchor point is at the middle of the project so any um, anything I do to it is anchored to the middle so I think that size is already good I'm going to, to you know move it again the position shortcuts That one works well. Now 
now for the YouTube element. Some slight positioning. The YouTube logo. Now the logo, some bit of positioning. I think that works well. Now for the text. Tutorials by Kasanga, select everything on the text, and then I change the color. Then I go with black and I see what it looks like. Mm. Not bad. I'm going to position it so that it's center lines. Okay, let me just go back to the turquoise. Yeah, that puts it together. Some adjustments. And I think we have a squeeze back on After Effects. Now we need to make that other squeeze back. So what we're going to do um let me just collapse everything and then i'm going to start a new project not a project sorry a new composition if you don't want to go through the whole hassle you can just duplicate your composition and edit it but i am going to do for me a new composition so that uh, we can all see how it's done so instead of cropping i'm going to draw a rectangle while this is selected that is just going to automatically crop it this is After Effects, it's a bit different from Premiere Pro. Then now I import my elements, I start with the QR code and remember I'll have to draw the, I think it's a square just behind the QR code. I'll have to position it. But I want it to be a bit big so that it just peeps uh, beyond that. Uh, just squeeze back. It actually resembles a bottom ticker. So now I draw the rect this this square. I take it. Uh, below the QR code, I draw another one. Well, now this other square has been attached to the previous square, so the rectangle has been attached to, to, to the previous one. And at times, it's it's a bit difficult to work with it, so I'm going to delete it so that you do it afresh. Just that part alone. I'll just work with it. Okay, let me just work with it. Now the text can be change the color to white. Then a selection tool so that I can be able to drag it. Okay, 
caps lock was on sorry for that okay so let me see how it looks is it big okay not really so i think i'm going to start on the other elements uh with the logo yes there is the logo i'm going to drop it there back on the scale and the position sorry yes uh, we draw the circle to encapsulate it take it a step below i'm going to use the arrow keys to position yes i think that that one has worked well And as you can see, the anchor point is still at the center of the canvas. Uh, since you're now moving things around, that can still stay there. Let me just uh, reduce the size a little bit. And as you can see, even when I reduce the size, it kind of pulls the uh, pulls towards the anchor point. Remember, this is the last creation of squeeze back that we are doing on the next side we are going to look at how we can implement them how we can use them on uh, editing softwares and uh, streaming softwares so i'm going to position both of them actually i've selected both of them and pressed position so that uh, it's easier to move both of them So uh, there are two things left, the logo for YouTube and the icons. Just press S for scale and then just reduce them to a size that's manageable. The logo is a bit flat, so that works. The other icons have to be reduced further and positioned. So some positioning. Now I'll continue to uh, just to play around with the position and the scale, but I think at this juncture we can comfortably say we have our second squeeze back using After Effects, and that's how it looks like.